Hello and welcome to My Security TV. My name is Chris Cubbage and we're at the Australasian Oil and Gas Expo at the Perth Convention Centre. I'm joined by Patrick Shevchek from the Computer and Security Science Department at Edith Cowan University. Patrick, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Patrick, you're a senior security lecturer uh, and have specialised or done some recent research uh, in home uh, security usage and home computer security usage, I'm sorry. Yes. Maybe just go through some of your research and some of your key findings or trends that you've seen. So I've been doing research into the area for about six years now. Uh, and it started off trying to find uh, why end users have trouble utilising security. Um, and now it's moved on to kind of looking at what entities are actually involved in the process of providing security advice to end users. So I've looked at uh, internet service providers, retail outlets, uh, information supplied by large organisations, and I guess the key findings are that end users do want support with securing their computer and their network, but at present, no one is really available to give them good, accurate advice. For instance, okay. internet service providers will often mislead the end user and provide inaccurate um, information on securing the computer, for instance. Uh, while retail outlets, on the other hand, are predominantly concerned with selling products as opposed to actually um, providing helpful information. I recall uh, seeing a lecture of yours in terms of banking uh, and the information that the banking sector was providing to their customers in terms of computer security, yep. as well as the ISPs. Do you find, or do, were your findings that there is enough information out there and that, more importantly, are consumers hungry for, for that information? Consumers definitely want to find um, information, uh, but the issue is where the information is actually located. Uh, it is no use um, an end user going to a website um, and having to spend 10, 15 minutes trying to find a specific piece of information. So the, the biggest issue there is that the information isn't readily available, um, it's often hidden away and end users actually have to know what they're searching for. In most instances, they don't actually know what to look for um, to start with, and so they're trying to find the smallest amount of information. Um, and it's often a needle in a haystack. So it's a bit of a cart before the horse type of thing where the industry itself, uh, the computer security industry, has obviously been going for the last 20 years uh, and it's particularly getting, getting stronger, we would hope. But from the consumer's side, their awareness of computer security issues must also be growing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's one of those issues where you often see end users ridiculed um, for not being able to use computers or security effectively. Uh, and I guess while the industry you know, is, is increasing, technologies are getting better. Uh, Australians, for instance, love adopting um, new technologies um, quite quickly. But in terms of what's actually available for them um, to secure their computers um, and their information, their data, their privacy, um, even from a senior citizen's perspective or a children's perspective, there really isn't anything out there. Where else can consumers go to find some more information? The government has created numerous security information portals, but unfortunately the studies that I have undertaken um, have found that many end users dislike these websites uh, and they go to these websites thinking that they're instantly going to be presented with uh, usable information um, and again they're faced with trying to find security information in an area which you know, they're really not sure where to go, what to look for. Uh, and again, they spend five to minutes on these websites and they drift off because they don't know what they're actually looking for. Have you looked at things uh, with security in terms of social media as well, Facebook, those types of things? Is that a, a, a usable uh, medium? Um, I have looked into these and I've done numerous interviews and studies of people's use of Facebook, for instance. And again, a lot of people are concerned with Facebook security. But when it comes down to actually being able to protect their data and their private information, not many people know where to look. Not many people know where to get help from Facebook in terms of finding this information. But they are concerned with it. But unfortunately, they're faced with the issue of they have to use Facebook often to access other services and resources. So a lot of companies, for instance, will want you to use your Facebook account to actually log in to their uh, website. And so people are forced to use Facebook. But again, they're having trouble actually finding relevant security information to protect their account. Patrick, how can people get in contact with you if they want to contribute? Yep, um, so I'm located in the School of Computer and Security Science. Uh, my information um, is on the school's uh, website. Uh, I've got my email address, phone number. Um, they can always contact me. Um, I have people contacting me all the time trying to find um, helpful information, recommended security software and so forth. I'm always more than happy to take you know, questions and answers. No doubt we'll have you in the Australian Security Magazine soon as well. Thank you. Thanks, Patrick. Appreciate your time. Thank you.